Hello everybody and welcome back. So as you know, we left off at the lake, we went fishing, we got the kayak back on the car, and I had some time to reflect on the way I was transporting the kayak and I had an idea. So I want to talk to you guys about the idea and then we're going to get to the main part of this video. The first idea that I came up with was to weld up a custom roof rack for the top of this car. Most vehicles have a frame that goes on the top of the door and that allows a traditional rack to clip into kind of a universal style and other vehicles have uh, rails that you can put an actual rack into. This car unfortunately doesn't have a top to its door frame. I'll show you here. So when I open the door there's nothing up here, which means when the glass is up and I go to close the door, the glass would hit against that rack and probably shatter. So I, would ha I had to make a custom one that would bolt to the very top, but that makes me nervous because of the fact that if I don't like it, there's really nothing I can do. Once it's built and mounted, that's it. So I came up with a better idea. So this is my idea. This car from the factory, set up the way it is, can tow a thousand pounds. It says it right in the Ford brochure for the 2002 Ford Escorts. So I invested in a new hitch that will bolt on right here. Try to show you guys. Nice hitch. We got a receiver. the ball for the trailer, and the hardware. I even went further than that, and I did some research, and I ended up buying a new trailer from Harbor Freight. There's actually not that many places around here that make trailers, but it's a four foot by uh, four foot, essentially, trailer, and I'm gonna use it because it's really lightweight. It's a 150 pound trailer, with the combination of the kayak, that's 200 pounds, because the kayak is uh, 56 pounds. So it's just over 200 pounds, and we're going to be down the road and fishing. So in this video, I'm going to show installing the trailer hitch and putting together this new trailer, and that way we can get out to these lakes and it won't be such a kind of a scary ride. Hi. How are you doing? A lot of people were wondering, how's, how's pregnancy doing? You're done? <laughs> no, I'm okay. I'm done. Yeah. The installation of this hitch should be pretty simple. On each side, there is a hole, which you can see on the right hand side of the frame there. And that hole mounts to these toe points on either side. And then there's a hole in the frame right here. And I believe it just says I have to kind of widen out the hole, but it'll attach right here and you fish up these plates. All right, I got the hitch test fit in here and you can see it attached to, focus here, attached to these toe points. And I thought there was gonna be a hole back here but there's not so I'll have to get the drill out and it's a half inch hole they need me to drill the hitch mounted up it's all torqued down to the proper spec and now we are set up and ready to tow So yesterday I installed the wiring for this and they actually make nice kits that allow a plug and play and just kind of tease into your rear tail lights but I didn't test to see if they work so I got this little tester with some lights on it and we're just going to set this up so we can try it. Try the hazards. Eh, it's gonna work. Awesome. A baby's pushing on my ribs. 
Yeah. Alright everyone, I have a lot of stuff to clean up here, but it's been fun building this trailer with you and we're going to get out and do some fishing, but I think I'm going to end this video here and then we'll pick up on the next one going out fishing. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video.